welcome to Graceful Healing, a podcast to get straight talk about healing and living again. My name is Maureen Lake. I'm a holistic health coach, speaker, author, and thyroid disease fighter. Each week, I'll be bringing you graceful conversations to inspire you to seek new ways to hit the reset button to catapult your health and vitality to new levels. Listen in and open your heart to all the new possibilities. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hello, and welcome back to the Graceful Healing Podcast. I'm so happy you've joined me today. Today I have Jacqueline on. Boy, is she a force of energy, and she just eludes happiness. You can hear it the minute she speaks, even with her amazing accent. Jacqueline, aka Freaky Healer, is just that, an accomplished energy healer, mindfulness, and happiness coach. And she's the best-selling author of 365 Days of Happiness, which now, by the way, sits on my bedside table. I love this book. I pick it up, read the passage for the day, and loaded with inspiration and motivation. Jacqueline has gifted each and every one of you with a copy of her book to download. You'll find the link in my show notes at maureenlake.com forward slash podcast. You're not going to want to forget to download this book. It's so incredible, helpful, and impactful. So let's get on with it. Hello, everybody. I can't wait for you to meet Jacqueline. She is one amazing person with an incredible story. And I don't want to waste any time because I want to get busy right now so that you can learn as much about her as you possibly can. So welcome, Jacqueline. I'm so grateful we finally connected. We had a little rough beginning there with our Skype calls, but everything finally worked out. Yeah, thank you, Maureen, for having me. I'm super excited and very honored to be on your podcast. And yes, we went through the difficulties and here we are, right? You got it. Here we are. So I can't wait to hear your personal story and journey and how you ended up where you are today, helping the people that you do. So can you just share with us a little bit about how you ended up here? All right. Well, I mean, it started all as me being a little baby born in Switzerland. That's where I'm uh, originally from. So my beginning, I'm a redhead lady at this point. And back then, a redhead little girl. And, you know, being a redhead was not very accepted or normal or whatnot. So there was a lot of like teasing and bullying going on. And little did I know that what I did back then is I grew this just I I went inward first as a little kid and grew this amazing happiness bubble inside of me which just kind of like was my inner world and I just created feeling good always on my own inside of that bubble of course back then I didn't really know what that was now when I look back it's like I grew my you know like my biggest power I possess today which is just like feeling good I know how I want to feel and I know how to create it and I don't really need anything to go any different in a different way than it is right now for me in order for me to feel happy and feel good it's like became this priority you know it's just I and I use that in my daily life all the time and you know, throughout the years, I always helped many people. And again, I didn't really know what that was. And today, looking and and, and going my journey and growing and understanding what this really is and how I help people and how I just know what they need and see, you know, and feel their energy. And so in today's world, I am an energy healer, a mindfulness and happiness coach, obviously. So it all kind of, you know, it all kind of then boils into the same part in what I do today and what is really so amazing. And I also, in 2017, decided to dedicate every single day of my year to write about feeling good and happiness. You know, Mm -hmm. I just wanted to put a book out there that's based on my energy healing work and gift I do for people so they can basically have a big nice 
chunk every day of my thoughts and my way of living and my help in their home. And that then created the book 365 Days of Happiness, which was published in uh, earlier this year. And um, yeah, it's actually a bestseller now. So I'm absolutely just really thrilled about how it all came together. Oh, I bet. And congratulations on your book. I was looking at it online, and I'm definitely going to buy it. It looks amazing. One of the things... Thank you. Because I've written a book as well, and it's time consuming to write a book. So what I found so incredible is that you wrote something for every single day. So I'm so curious to know how long it took you to actually write your book. Well, ultimately, I wrote every single day in 2017. So it took a whole year to really, yeah, because I really wanted this to go really deep Mm -hmm. and really thoughtful in, okay, so what is happiness anyway, right? And where does it come from? How do I make it long lasting? And, you know, what does it mean on any given day to me? What does it mean for the world? What does it mean from a spiritual side, from a mindful side, from a connectedness side? And the book is really a day-by-day, step-by-step guide that you practice every day, a little passage. Best is if you have it right next to your bed, you know, first thing you wake up Mm -hmm. in the morning to set that tone right and get you right in your high for life frequency. That's what I call it. You read that passage and then through Throughout the day, it just carries you and it keeps coming into your mind. And what I'm hearing from my readers is that, you know, let's say they're on day 20 and then suddenly in their day, something just is happening for them, which because I believe very strongly, never everything happens to you. It always happens for you. So then they remember, oh, wait a minute, day six, I read that. And then they practice that on top of day uh, 22 that they're on in their day. And it just, it's like, I always think of it, it's like, you know, a bee jumping and hopping from flower to flower and a little pollen sticks on its, (laughs) you know, body, Mm -hmm. (laughs) little body. Well, that's happiness. It's the same. So you got to start somewhere, you know, it's like, and everybody starts at a different point in their journey when they pick up my book, but you practice every day a little bit, right? And it takes you maximum five minutes to read that passage, but it's such a high for life way of thinking and being and feeling, seeing, hearing and tasting and thinking of. And when you do that throughout your day, it just shifts you always into this really feel good, happy place. And it adds up. It really adds up. And you do this a year, it changes people's lives. Oh, I can't even imagine. I love your analogy about the bee and the pollen. I mean, that paints such a beautiful picture, how every day you're just gathering a little more information, a little more techniques and positivity to take you to the next day. It's beautiful. It really is. Yeah. And it also like I made really sure in my book, because that's how I live. That's how my clients learn to live. My readers learn to live. It works for my family, for my children. And I really wanted to make a point that every day you also get a little step closer to who you really are. Right. Because I'm a big believer that you are happiness and happiness is you. It's always there. You're never separate. So wherever you go, happiness is right there too. And that nothing has to change ever for you in order to feel happy or be be you know in a good state and really like just experience your life amazingly right now mm-hmm. it really is like here here is the thing i wrote an article and it's in print in the edge magazine and it talks about how you get up in the morning you're not looking for your physical body. You're not like getting up and saying, where's my physical body? You know, you're in this physical life as this physical body. And you are it and you can feel it. And that's the same with happiness. It's really about to shift to being happiness. So you get up in the morning, you never look for your happiness. You are happiness. And it's like, I want people to really be inspired to shift their way of living, way of being, way of experiencing and believe the belief they have that they already are everything they've ever 
wanted and ever desired and ever looked for. And when you start doing that, you realize that your breath is happiness, Mm -hmm. making this physical life possible. Your blood pumping through your veins is so much energetic power. And when you feel that and really tune into that, it's amazing. You go out there and you're not tired anymore. And then your smile is happiness, obviously spreading it far and wide. But you know, when you're sad, That's happiness too, because it feels really deep connection to your heart and what you can do for yourself to feel better. And when you have a good cry, it cleanses your energy. Or when you're angry and you say, all right, I'm really nice, nice angry without letting it out on everybody else. Of course, you go and clean your house or you go mow your lawn and you use that getting it stuff done energy to get something done that's happiness too nothing ever has to change it really is it's about you realizing that you are happiness happiness is you with whatever is going on right now and when you practice that every day a little bit and it just it really adds up oh i bet it does it's it sounds like it's really just another form of meditation in so many ways and what a a beautiful practice to bring into your morning routine. I, I love the idea of keeping the book right by your bed, picking up, read your passage for the day, and then it just sets you off on a positive mindset. It's it's really beautiful, Jacqueline. I I wrote a book myself, and oddly enough, it's called Being Happy, Raising Happy, mm-hmm. and it was my love story. Beautiful. My love story to moms that are raising their spirited child. And Mm -hmm. now now I'm really thinking I need to incorporate your book into when I'm working with these moms, because how powerful would that be? Do you know, to get out of bed every day, have a positive mindset already charged into your brain, basically, when you know that you could wake your kids up that day and all of a sudden everything falls through the roof, you know, but you'll already have that positive energy flowing within you to to just whatever happens, you'll be able to face the day a little bit better, I believe, after reading some of your passages. Oh, absolutely. And you know, I really, I'm a big believer that I'm a mom myself. So I have a young adult and a teenager now and very spirited children. And I always knew, but I realized very early on that I got to really, really step back and take their teachings very much so. And I believe that, and, and through my own practice, that before I even wake them up or before I even interact with anybody, it really is up to me that I shift myself in an amazing, feel good, happy, excited state and then go out and interact with everybody else. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it just shifts everything because we're all energy and all connected. So what I do for me, you know, affects everything and everyone in my awareness and far beyond. Now, if I'm in that state, though, I also then interact with my children, my husband, my clients on a different level. So I'm already in this high frequency. Mm -hmm. And through that, I am interacting with the world, which means not only do I share all this enthusiasm, inspiration and happy feelings with everyone, but I also you know, give others the chance to maybe come and meet me up there in that high frequency, which without even saying anything, you don't even need to say to your child, oh, you're in a bad mood. Why don't you be happier? (laughs) No, because when I already show up like this Mm -hmm. beam of light, well, most of the time, they're just going to come join you right there. And all it really takes is it starts with me, my commitment every single day, like a contract. I get up and I say, well, today is and will be the best day ever. And I commit to feeling good. I make it my absolute priority above everything else. And then I go and practice it and grow a passion for it bigger and bigger. And then I actually go really loudly and really big in a big way, go be and live that. And when you are that um, in that frequency as that beam of light being, 
it really is like that's how you change everything. Yep. I I couldn't agree with you more. I know with the people I work with and really with my own self-healing, it wasn't until I learned to love myself that I could really help my family and my children in a bigger way. So it's like coming to terms with your own self-worth, being able to have that positive mindset. And it's so true. It's almost like you become a mentor to everyone around you because you're like, whoa, I want a little bit of what she has. Yeah, you know, yes. What is it that you're doing that's working so well? So I totally understand what you're saying. It, it's just incredible to me to think that you have a book for people to read a passage every day. I such a wonderful gift. And the, it's the kind of thing that you reread, I'm sure, year after year, because by the time you get to the end of the book, you're ready to reread it. You know, it's like, it's just such a perfect idea. I love it. How did you really come up with the idea as far as like a passage a day? Was there something that led to that or? Well, I personally start and finish everything through my, you know, inspirations, through my guidance, um, my soul, my spirits, my energetic being, like everything, like I have the craziest, craziest, you know, visions and, 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 and voices and little messages. And, and sometimes I go like, Really? <laughs> but I learned not to question anything anymore because if it's really in my heart, you know, there is these inspirations that are more like in my head, which they come and go. They come feel great, wonderful, make me giggle, and then they go. And then the, the other ones that really come from deep within, you know, from my soul, from my mm. heart, that just they come, don't always make sense. They feel great. And they don't go away anymore. They just keep popping up. And it's just like, I can't take my mind off anymore. And those I follow. And I don't, I stopped questioning anything. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I learned that that's always going to get me exactly where I'm supposed to be. It's the right thing for me. And this book was just like that. English is not my mother language. And I wrote a book in English. <laughs> you know, when you go from your mind perspective, we say, no way, right? Or, right. but it's like, and, but that's just, I followed it. And it was uh, New Year's Eve. And we sat around the table with really good friends. And we were talking a little bit about the new year. I usually don't do these plans. Well, next year, this is what I'm going to do. And then I just blurted it out. And I said, well, I tell you what, I know it's possible. I'm always practicing it and this is who I am and I am happiness and I'm going to just sit down every single day and write about it. What that day is, what in that day is the focus for me, for the world and anyway, just everything about happiness. And then I started, you know, January 1st, I started and sat down and then I turned it into a blog. Because I was really like so fascinated with everything, just how it flows through me and how it goes. And and uh, the blog helped many people. And then, you know, <laughs> one led to the other. Mm -hmm. I said, heck, I'll make a book out of it. And then towards the end of the year, I said, well, I said, I make a book out of it. I better do that. <laughs> and then I got, I got cracking with it, you know, and uh -huh. it's like, and even with that and that process, I just said, all righty, I'm going to make a book out of it. I need a perfect editor lady. I wanted a woman and I need a, a cover. I need, you know, I, and yeah. I want to self-publish. And it was really funny how this always works. And with your, to your listeners, I really want to say when you just have it in your heart to go for something, just see how it unfolds. Because I found the perfect editor lady that really let my text be because I did not write this book to be perfect English grammar. I wrote this book to be and stay as it came out of my heart and just me make it, you know, if I have a grammar somewhere so people can actually understand what I'm trying to say. But either than that, I wanted it to stay my language, my way. Right. And I found the perfect lady. Then I went on the internet and I said, okay, I need a book cover, please. And I found the perfect book cover and the perfect photographer. And it was just, there are all these amazing people that make my village now. And they're all really powerful, wonderful for people wanting to spread the goodness in the world and 
that's all because I really followed my journey without questioning too much. And there is this book and it's just the incredible response that's happening. And just people from all over the world, like just saying, wow, I needed this. I really needed this. And I just couldn't be happier that I actually followed my inspiration. Right. And what a beautiful story. Beautiful. Well, we only have a couple of minutes left, but I really want to know, you talked about when you were little with your red hair and being bullied, unfortunately, but what's one sentence of advice that you'd tell that little girl if you could go back in time? What I would tell my little girl, and I actually do tell my little girl all the time, is that it's all good. It's all good. So when there is something that's maybe not feeling or or looking as maybe I wanted it or whatnot, that it's all good. Just breathe. It's all good. Send it out there and it will be solved. And to stay lighthearted and really follow feeling good. Follow feeling good. It gets you always where you want to be. And that's what I would tell my girl. And you know, one thing that's also really important, and I know that most of your listeners, because this is have that, and it's something really that everybody needs to hear is that you are deserving. Mm. You are so deserving just with being in this physical life, taking part in this, coming here to experience this physical life, you are immediately deserving and it's your birthright to have a good time time and feel good and go for whatever you want. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, Jacqueline, I wish you lived in the United States. I'd love to have coffee with you sometime. Your energy (laughs) is just powerful. We'll have coffee over a Skype meeting or something. There you go. Thank you so much for making the time to come visit with us today. Oh, gosh, I'm going to run out and get your book. And I'm also going to share it with my tribe of women because I know how powerful it's going to be for them to have a passage to read every day and just reflect back on and help them through their trials and tribulations. Because let's face it, we all have them. We all face them daily. So, But now it's like a tool to keep in your toolbox and pull out every single morning. It's beautiful. Thank you for writing it. Thank you so much for having me. And yes, I actually get pictures from people say, hey, look what's in my lunchbox. And there's food and there's my book. And they say, hey, look what's in my drawer at work. And it's in there. Oh, that's (laughs) wonderful. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So thank you for having me. And I just love what you do. Your work is so important for the world. So thank you for doing that. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today. This episode is brought to you by my book, The Graceful Advocate, Taking Control of Your Life After a Diagnosis of Thyroid Disease. You can find it currently on Amazon. I love it because my friends call it a purse book. They keep it with them when they go to the pharmacy, grocery store, or even to the doctor's office. It's a great little guide to keep you on track and informed. I can't wait for next week when I get to see you back on the pod. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate you so much. If you ever need someone to chat with about your healing journey, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me through my website at maureenlake.com. 